Migrant sex workers are working to support their children, families, and sometimes entire communities. And all the thanks that they get is criminalization and deportation. And like many of us in Latin America, we want to escape from poverty. From, from, from a lot of us, it's uh, almost like a, uh, it's like a goal, it's like a dream to, to migrate, to escape from, from that poverty, uh, also from transphobic violence, because we also have our the continent that has the, the uh, biggest ratings of uh, transsexual murders in the whole world. The state has been uh, committing human rights violations against sex workers who are from Syria. And the same thing goes on uh, with, with other migrant sex workers. A lot of migrant sex workers, either Syrians or others, are being deported on false allegations. There have been a lot of cases, for example, of uh, Turkmen uh, sex workers, who are sex workers from Turkmenistan in Central Asia, who got de uh, deported to their own countries, and we heard stories that they, would, they were killed in honor crimes. There were also, in the same area, last, uh, last month, raped also, supposedly, in the name of trafficking. But yet again, no victims or charges for trafficking have been brought, but 26 people have been arrested for immigration offences and some detained and deported. The municipal governments, uh, like in Madrid, in Barcelona, in Valencia, in Bilbao, uh, about 10 years ago or so, they implemented municipal ordinances uh, to try to block almost uh, uh, basically street-based uh, sex work. Again, the right solution that they have found, um, finding their clients. So in, some t uh, in some occasions, they, they find also the sex workers. If, if the, uh, this migrant, the sex worker, finds a way to be legal, uh, the resident permits are denied because of this record of being fined and uh, the fines haven't been paid. La mayoría de, de las trabajadoras sexuales somos migrantes. Una trabajadora sexual negra sufre mucho más la violencia de la policía directa que una trabajadora sexual blanca, aunque sea migrante la blanca. Una, una de, la, de, de, de las este, experiencias que puedo contar es que la policía le quita el dinero en Barcelona a las trabajadoras sexuales negras y a las blancas no. Hay eh, otros estereotipos como la hipersexualidad dependiendo del país que vengas. También esto Es muy duro para nosotras cuando viajamos por los aeropuertos o viajamos de un país a otro, donde ya se presupone que porque venimos de un país o de otro somos trabajadoras sexuales. Por eso es muy importante luchar en contra de los prejuicios, de los estigmas. Y, y otra cosa real que pasa en esta sociedad es que el estigma puta, la palabra puta, no solo nos afecta a las trabajadoras sexuales, sino a todas las mujeres. Por lo tanto, luchar en contra de, de, de esta estigmatización que tiene esta palabra es súper importante para todos los movimientos. So what do we want? We want decriminalization of, of the sex industry. We oppose criminalization of clients, so hands off our clients. And just one last thing before a new legislation or a new law is brought. Can you ask us, we are here today, and listen to us and ask us what do we want?